The Nigerian Senate passed a new Establishment Act for the Nigerian Football Federation, and this provides a framework for the domestication of the NFF and FIFA statutes. This bill also provides an enabling environment to ensure good governance, management, and the operations of the NFF and the sustainable development of football in Nigeria in line with international standards. Well, several commentators have opined that the bill, when passed into law, will set football in Nigeria on a path for greatness as the Nigerian Football Federation will be able to function effectively and independent of government interference. Now, I want to believe that this is a good way forward for uh, the running of football in Nigeria, but doing is it really a way forward for football in Nigeria? Um, yes, I would say it is, and then I would say it has, it has its downsides too. Mm. Because, you know, the Nigeria Football Federation is a statutory body. So the Nigerian, the Nigerian Football Federation is supposed to be established by a statute mm. or an act of the National Assembly. So you know we have the NFA Act of 2004. So the NFA Act of 2004 was the instrument that established the Nigeria Football Association. Mm. But as at something sometime in 2008, the NFA changed their name from NFA to NFF. NFF. But the, the problem with that was that they didn't change it through the statute. So they, are, they were supposed to make the amendment to the name in the act. So that's, that's, that's been the back and forth. There was a, there was a case some time ago, Sam Sam Jaja, mm. that's a, he was a past president of the Nigeria Referees Association. So he approached the Federal High Court. He wanted to run as the president of the NFF. Yeah. So he approached the Federal High Court. He was, um, he was disqualified on some grounds. And he approached the Federal High Court stating that you know, he's not um, satisfied with those grounds. And he took the NFF to, to court. But the judge, the judge of the Federal High Court was of the opinion that NFF is not a statutory body. Mm. And as such, you cannot bring a, an action against NFF. So the, the judge made a, you know, a, a, uh, he, he made a pro pronouncement that NFF should change their name in the statute. Mm. So that, there has been a back and forth on that. But I think the, the section one of the bill that is coming in now has already changed it and said, you know, the, this bill establishes a body that is to be called the Nigeria Football Federation. Federation. Exactly. So that's one pro. That's, a, that's a, an advantage. Something good that the NFF is doing now mm. concerning the name. The name has changed. So people can now deal with the NFF based on their name that was, you know, generated from the statute. Mm. That's one aspect of it. Another aspect of the bill is, uh, is it makes uh, the NFF autonomous. Okay. And, you know, it gives them self-governance, saying that there shouldn't be any interference, government interference. interference. We've, had, we've had issues like that, you know, uh, previously, where the government interfered in, in the activities of uh, football, football federation. And then we were banned from participating in football sure. activities for a while, yes. So, but the bill has come to say the, uh, you know, the NFF is autonom autonomous and the government should interfere in that. So that's also one of the upsides of it. Also, another thing is the domestication of the FIFA statutes that you mentioned. Yeah. Also in that Sam Sam Jaja case, the NFF was going to rely on the FIFA statutes, saying that football disputes could only be taken, uh, could only uh, be resolved through arbitration. Yeah. Yes, but you know, Samsung Judge approached one of our courts, our civil courts in, in Nigeria. So the, the NFF was relying on that provision, saying that as Article 59 of the FIFA statutes, saying that it shouldn't have gone to court, it should have gone, you know, seek, um, sought redress through arbitration. Mm -hmm. But the, the judge was also of the opinion that you can't you can ask him to use a statute that has not been domesticated. Exactly. So as at that point in Nigeria, we did not recognize the FIFA statutes mm -hmm. as any. Uh, you know, statutory provision that we should rely on. Mm. But the bill has come to say, you know, we are domesticating the FIFA statute, it can be relied on. So that's also a good side mm. of the bill. But when you look at it, you know, the, on the flip side, there's been this back and forth dispute on arbitration as the sole dispute resolution mechanism for football uh, disputes. Yeah. So FIFA also provides, that same Article 59 also provides that you can only seek redress on football uh, disputes mm. through arbitration. Yeah. But there's been a back and forth. Uh, there's this um, this case, this RFA, RFC Serain case and Doyen Sports against FIFA, yeah. where the, uh, the Brussels court held that the, you cannot subject a party or a disputing party to just a sole means of dispute resolution. Mm. The principles of arbitration says that the disputing party should be able to choose his own arbitral panel and some other and some other characteristics that you know govern arbitration on mm -hmm. its own. So there's been a a, a, a lot of uh, football. Uh, 
fans, a lot of football uh, players, you know, players in the football industry have not have not accepted that provision that yeah. you can only seek redress through arbitration. So that's 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 also one of the downsides of the bill. And in all, it's the bill. The bill makes football a <laughs> a national asset, yeah. which is interesting. It says it makes football a national asset, and that we should have uh, special football should have special privileges, mm. which is which is interesting. I want to see how that will will you know how that will play out with yeah. the government. Yes, and it also says that the government should. Uh, the government should take care of the finances of, of NFF. Okay. So it's also an interesting provision. I'd like to see how that would play out. But in all, uh, I think if you look at it, if you look at it on, from the advantages and disadvantages, I, I feel like uh, there'd they, they be balance. Mm. They be okay. balance. Yeah, but before we let um, Steve uh, to, uh, talk about, or rather give his own opinion on uh, the NFF bill, we spoke with Fred Dore, a media prat practitioner and also an internet publisher of Sports Talk Africa. He also talked about uh, the NFF bill. Uh, let's listen to him and uh, we'll come back and still continue with the uh, discussion. Well, I think it is important, first of all, for us to understand how the NFF bill came about. Um, before we started talking about the NFF bill, we had the NFA Act. And the NFA Act um, metamorphosed from a decree um, that controlled Nigerian football. And that decree seemed to put the supervision of the NFF under the Ministry of Sports. And it's also, it did not include um, issues that FIFA wanted. So ju just to say, it did not correspond with FIFA statutes. And we found a situation where, for instance, FIFA says certain football issues do not have to go to court. But the NFA Act or the decree didn't say so. So we have seen, as you can, as you can remember, that a lot of NFF cases had gone to court, uh, disrupting and distorting the process and so on. So it became necessary for us to align the NFF um, regulatory uh, instrument with FIFA, with FIFA statutes. And that is how the issue of the NFF bill came out. Uh, I'm, I remember that the Congress of the NFA, NFA went to MACD and then they resolved that they should have a new bill, and so the NFF bill came about. It is really essentially for us to align with FIFA statutes, so that certain football issues do not have to go to court, and that the country has to recognize it as part of our law. Because the reason why we've been going to court uh, on certain football matters is because um, the, the bill had not been passed, the aspects of FIFA statutes that we refer to uh, are not domiciled here, they are not recognized in our law. So there was need for us to have a body of law that corresponds with FIFA statutes and for us as a nation to recognize um, those provisions or clauses or articles that FIFA really wanted. And that's how the NFFB came about. Now, the bill had been in the National Assembly um, I think for from even 1999, you know, um, there's been issues about it. Uh, like sometimes the the leadership of the NFF were not able to lobby enough for the bill to be passed at the National Assembly, and some people also suspect that the um, Minister of Sports didn't want the bill passed uh, because it actually will remove their control of the NFA, of the NFF, you know. But recently it's been passed. Uh, those clauses that needs, needed to be amended to align us with uh, FIFA statutes has been put in place and the bill has been passed and is now waiting uh, the consent of the president. Uh, so far, the president has not assented to the bill, but it is our, uh, our hope that um, he will understand it and then uh, assent to the bill. And so the NFF bill uh, is now in line with FIFA statutes. And we hope that the president, um, since the presidency has declared so, we hope that the president um, will assent to the bill. We're all hoping that the president will assent to the bill and that uh, we have a good running of football. I'd like um, Steve to respond to that. 
Well, thank you, Doka. Um, I've listened extensively to Fred, and he kept saying that uh, we, are, we have not aligned our laws in accordance with the FIFA, FIFA. law. Now, I would differ slightly okay. from his position, and that is because um, this bill that is now before the president awaiting assent seems to be just a reaction to the Sam Sam Jaja case and mm. other cases that bethed the uh, drafting of the bill. Uh, accordingly, maybe what the NFF had in mind was just to um, regularize his name and put a structure mm. that removes the, uh, the, his appendages to the Sports Ministry mm. and National Sports Commission. Now, when you look at the whole framework of the bill, you see that a lot of things have still not been put in place. Fine, you have incorporated Article 59 of the FIFA statutes, which stipulates that all member associations of FIFA, football leagues and affiliated competitions and associations yeah. shall abide by the decision of the Court of Arbitration for Sports and recognize arbitration as the sole dispute resolution mechanism. Now, you ask yourself, has the framework for arbitration been set in place by the NFF? Mm. Perhaps, maybe there will be another regulation or law that will put that one in place. As, as the bill stands before everybody, there's no provision in that regard. People have mentioned the NFF Arbitration Committee. Maybe I will speak extensively on that during the dispute resolution segment, segment. of the program. Now, I will also draw your attention to the financial provisions of the bill. Okay. Under the, this particular provision, the bill stipulates that there shall be um, a certain account which shall be operated in the name of the Football Federation, Federation. under the supervision of the National Sports Commission. Mm. Now, um, part of the monies that are expected to be paid into that account mm. includes um, monies from the government, okay. monies from interest, um, interest um, or profits okay. from investments made by the football federation. Now, I don't have I don't have any issues with the federation making investments on behalf of the federation. The executive committee money is paid on behalf of the executive committee. Now, I don't imagine that FIFA would pay money in the name of the executive committee. Yeah. The executive committee, for all intents and purposes, represents the federation. Yeah, sure. So every money from every grant or allocation from FIFA. Yeah should be paid to the Federation. Now, it seems to be a subtle way of circumventing the supervisory uh, jurisdiction or powers of the National Sports Commission because the FIFA grants and allocation are not expressly provided for in that particular financial provision. So it makes one wonder whether there are mechanisms in place that will, be, will, be, that, that, that will check some of the financial infractions that we have witnessed over the years. True. Now we talk about reporting, accounting reports and um, audit reports. Mm. Now, just a scanty provision saying that, oh, the NFF shall um, publish its audited financial reports. Now, I don't know about you people in the media, but I have not seen any published audited reports of the NFF. And um, that would go a long way in checking some of the financial impropriety being uh, recorded by that association in recent times. A yeah. um, few weeks ago, a few months ago, the association members, the executive committee members were in EFCC custody. Yes. It, was, it was a very damning indictment of the running of our football. Yeah. I was expecting that some kind of check should be put in place. And again, you say you are creating an autonomous body. Why would you still go back to rely on the same government that you have vilified over the years for controlling the, the, the running, of sports. Football, running of sports and football in Nigeria. Now, uh, I would also briefly go to the powers of the executive committee. Part of the powers of the executive committee is to appoint judicial officers okay. of the association. That is a complete indictment on the part of the NFF because what it simply means is that any arbitration committee or any arbitral panel set up by the NFF does not have that ingredient of impartiality and independence. Mm. If the members of the arbitration committee will be depending on the NFF for payment, for remuneration, and all that, you now wonder what would happen when cases are initiated by 
stakeholders in the football league, for example, against the NFF. Yeah. So I am hoping that we will put in a framework that will address some of these lapses. Mm. So, but in all, in all, in all, all in all, I think um, what it has done now is to align us with the FIFA framework yeah. and make sure uh, we don't um, fall under the sledgehammer of FIFA. FIFA. So.